last controller, we are going to check out Shovel Knight Pocket Dungeon uh, right before release. This game comes out tomorrow, uh, December 13th. It is co-developed by Vine and Yacht Club Games. If you've never played a Shovel Knight game before, uh, this is nothing like that. Uh, Shovel Knight is an action platformer, uh, kind of in the same vein as like Mega Man. Uh, it's probably the closest similarity in, in regards to gameplay. Uh, but this is same character, same world you love, but it's a puzzle game. Um, I had a chance to play this uh, last year, two years ago, last year at PAX East, uh, right before the pandemic hit. And I'm a, I'm a Shovel Knight stand. I love Shovel Knight. Um, all those games are fantastic, and I'm excited that this this is one of the few games that they're kind of branching off and making some spin-off games for. Um, the first one is Pocket Dungeon, and it is a puzzle game. So we're going to check this out. Probably play the first hour or so, uh, so you can watch along, check it out as well. Uh, it should be coming out tomorrow, I believe, for everything. I believe it's coming out for Steam, PS4, Switch, um, I believe Xbox as well. So it should be available pretty much everywhere uh, starting Monday, December 13th. So let's, uh, let's get right into it. I guess we can check out some options. Uh, again, looks like you can change some of the starting mechanics for Adventure. We're just going to get right into Adventure and just go from there. Let's see how bad I am. But even the even the art style here is so the shovel knight games are all you know eight bit sixteen bit um, stylistically this is also pixelated but it's a little bit different. a little bit thicker um, pixels rather. sucker for a good puzzle game. I'm a sucker for a good indie game. Shovel Knight is uh, usually gorgeous and has great music, and so far this is uh, seeming to hit the mark on both of those accounts. When, it did, when I did play it at PAX East, uh, I did really enjoy what I played, so I don't know if I just skipped that or not. Hey, blue guy. You haven't given up already, have you? Oh good, you're still with us. We pulled you away from all the monsters just in time. Salutations, I'm Puzzle Knight. You look just as lost as everyone else who ends up trapped here after touching that confounded cube. This is the Pocket Dungeon. You see, a perfect snare, even for a puzzle prodigy such as myself, completely unsolvable. We've been trying for years, you know. We've been riding the Boto Wagon around trying to gather up new rivals just like yourself. There have been rather a lot of them lately, haven't there, Chester? This one looks handy with a shovel. Oh, okay. What in the seven ciphers was that? A block blockade curses. We won't be going anywhere until that's cleared out. You there, with the shovel. Make yourself useful, will you? Um, so I believe... Okay, so when you move in a direction, you see the, the three purple things. So if I hit these three times, they will break. And because they're connected, they will chain together. Um, those are one. Okay, so the blue... Okay, so the blues are threes. The dirt is one. Okay, so we'll clear that out. Make this chain. Get rid of all those. And when it's clear, you can move, and then everything else falls down at the same speed as you. Knock those out. At least right now, in this little tutorial stage, it seems like there's no consequence for not chaining things together. I'm assuming in, uh, the further we get, things will also be falling down as we're clearing out, so you're going to have to be more uh, strategic with your choice and what you're breaking. Notice that you can chain together matching blocks, as long as they are touching. Chains are quite brilliant, don't you think? But none of this will matter if the vetoes get us. I hear them skittering. Oh, I feel faint. They just let you run up and smack them, did you? you hit, they hit back, of course, whenever you attack. Only the one next to you, though, by continuing your attack, you'll dispatch the whole group from a safe distance. Alas, you won't get by without taking some damage, but luckily potions are plentiful. Here, try one. Refreshing, isn't it? We'll get used to the taste quickly if you want to stay alive. Lastly, time works differently in the pocket dungeon. It rushes forward whenever you move and passes by slowly if you stand still. 
Uh oh, speaking of which, Beto Stampede incoming. Remember, don't rush. Take time to plan your next step and be quick and decisive. So we're gonna move them down. And we wanna probably wanna chain everything together, so we'll get them all. Chain that whole thing. Grab some of this. Keep moving. I guess there's no yeah, I can just keep penalty seems to do that, so grab that, we'll let these chain up. Uh, take this, get rid of this, get rid of that. Chain those. Get rid of you. I mean they're just giving us a lot of potions so we can be a little aggressive here. This guy, you're a natural. Thanks for the help. I'm sure our puzzle, our valiant puzzle master, would be impressed if he hadn't been, you know, cowering inside. Hey, I wonder if that key over there would unlock this chest we've been carrying around. How funny would that be? Could be anything in there too. Take it from me, you always want what's in a chest. Try that key, would you? What have we here? Yes, yes, of course. After so long, the pieces have begun to fall into place. When I fell into the pocket dungeon, I lost my key to a special heirloom. It shattered into five key fragments, and you found one. Thank you. Uh, Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight, hero of the, the puzzle. Onward, my merry band. Well, our encampment is just up ahead. We'll stay out of the way while you clear the path. You don't need to go on foot. After enough enemies are defeated, a door will appear, leading us out of here. Simply unlock it and step through. And, oh, and you're no good to us unconscious, so do remember about the potions, yes? I believe there are some light RPG elements as well that come into play here. I mean, it seems as though... attention you can very quickly take damage. Yeah that's what we want. Do that, do that, chain this whole gang together, do this, just key to the door so we can leave it looks like. I wonder if there's a benefit to fully staring at this one. Maybe some more gems, whatever gems end up doing. Club Games presents. Shovel Knight Pocket Dungeon. This is like a, a perfect. I'm playing on Steam. This is a perfect Switch game for me. Here we are, home sweet home. It's not much yet, but it's a solid base of operations. If we're to escape, we'll need to work our way through each level and defeat the ruler of this place, the Pocket Dungeon Master. Who is he or she? No idea, but we saw some other knights fall in here too. I bet they'd be willing to help if you cross paths. Make yourself comfortable, but please follow me when you're ready to embark. Thanks for the help, blue guy. I'll have some items in the shop soon. So there's not really anything we can do here yet. The quest lies beyond, the thre beyond this threshold, but there is one last matter to consider. Stock mode, single stock, or infinite stock. Like a roguelite, when you fall in battle or your board fills up, your adventure is over and you return to camp. Infinite stock. Like, bu like a puzzle game, when you fall in battle, you respawn. When the board fills up, your adventure is over and you return to camp. Hmm. I'm gonna go with single stock. When you're ready to take the exit above, as for me, I'll be here deep in thought. If you require my advice, just give me a firm jostle. We're gonna just head out. Traveling two planes. Alright, so we got three chests to the door. 
the music is very good. If you have played Shovel Knight before, this is a remix to, I believe, the first level. I don't know. The song might be called for Shovel Reach. Oh my goodness! I was not paying attention to my health at all. Okay. Um. Yikes. Okay. All right. You gotta be on top of your game from from the start. You have to be paying attention to your health. No, we're gonna... I guess we'll do that, because it's blinking. Hmm, I should have to think what might happen if we weren't able to find all the key fragments. The shop is open. If you get the cash, I've got the stash. Buy these relics now to unlock them to be discovered later in the dungeon. Dynamite. Your next chain explodes for charge for charges when opening chests. Two big bomb. Bigger bomb explosions. Mentor manual. Fewer slain flows required to see exit. Hmm. Tackle this appropriately this time and pay attention. Okay. Let's utilize that bomb. Okay. okay, so he does two damage at least from all the things. Get out of the way. Trash. Okay, let's see what the store has. I bought that by accident. Uh, Alright. Well, you bought an item, and it looks like the way you, when you buy items, all it does is allow it to be opened in a chest in a dungeon. Oh, is that what killed me, Eric? The acid? I was not... I didn't realize that when you killed the green enemies that they left acid on the ground. That is 100% what killed me then. This is the first level, like already off the bat of this game, it's like you have to be paying attention to what you're actually doing. Yeah, they all around, okay. Chain these guys, get that back, chain all these skeletons, get that. I didn't even notice that I played it until you just said that. Skeletons, and I'm assuming other enemies like them, you have to like really work the channels together or else you're just gonna take so much damage. Okay. Oh, I have a Yet. 
because I don't think there's a benefit to continuing the fight unless you just want to farm more gems. I don't need more gems. I need to get the hell out of that level. Uh, yeah, this... I've, I've been waiting for this game to come out. Um, when I played it at PAX East uh, in, back in 2020, I was... Like, I'm a Shovel Knight sicko. I love Shovel Knight. But when they announced this and they announced uh, Shovel Knight Dig, which is the other spin-off game that's coming soon, uh, I was excited for both of those. It was just more Shovel Knight in a different way. But this, when I had played it, I was like, oh, this is like a really good puzzle game. started playing, but... Okay, okay, yeah. There is a... Okay, so you need to get him to shield, and then attack him from the ground. Uh, you can pl I'm playing the roguelike version, so it looks like you can also play where you respawn if you die. Which, maybe that's how I should be playing. I've got the stash, check out my wares. Potion napkin, potions won't change. This lets you pick off a single potion or drink instead of chaining them all hot again. That's actually pretty helpful. Uh, this feather will destroy everything and restore your health if you fall in battle, but only once. Prolonging survival is my guarantee. This ticket extends your max, max HP by 3. I mean, I'm gonna. These are all really good abilities. I'm gonna do this. Say open? Okay, can I farm enough gems to go back in? That's the real question. I am fucked. What? Did that disappear? I'm probably gonna die in this corner. Because I don't think I can. Yeah, I'm gonna die in this corner. Because I can't attack the shield. You can attack through me. Now, uh, I should switch to not roguelite mode, because I'm bad, but we're going we're gonna to keep going, because I'm determined now. Get those back. I should play the no chance. Get that. Get these. Take those back. I'm gonna end up buying this on Switch too because I can play this a bit for hours. They're gonna kill me if I hit them. I am terrible. I am so bad.
Cascade Ball. Deals two extra damage. Blocks one damage. Already in the second spot, knowing what type of stuff was popping up in the store, I want to stack some gems up. Yes, you can hit him elsewhere in the chain, or you can rotate around him to the, any of the sides that aren't uh, shielding. So if I return to the camp, if you want to change up the difficulty for experimenting with the adventure mode options, yeah, you tell me I'm bad. Um, if I return to the camp, do I have to do the other level again? We're going to just return to the camp and find out. What do we have? Dynamallet, your next chain explodes, Richard. One opening chest. Holy Clover, find rare items. Fatal Wounds recover 2 HP at low health. Hmm. That's not terrible. Let's go with this. Um, but I'll take it. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so if you do clear everything, you get a bonus. Okay, okay, okay. That's good to know. It can definitely be overwhelming at first, like there's a lot to take in. And you have to, like, you don't want to just be reckless, but you can't take too long. Because things will move if you're taking too long. But, damn, this is a good game. Okay, I'm assuming I need to attack them on when well, they're not doing that. Okay. I'm already overwhelmed. So you hit something else. Okay. Skeletons will fuck you up so quickly if you're not paying attention. Yeah. 
gems. I don't know if I can beat this game on roleplay mode. If I want to see, see the whole game, I'm going to have to switch it because I'm not that good. Um, why did I attack it? Super Live, thank you. Let me know if that is better. Whoops. Okay. Let's let's get this going. We'll get that out of the way. Knock these down. These knights are no joke. I'm gonna die because there's no potion near me. I'm dead. Ooh, okay. So when I get the spear, the best thing to do is have a space between me and the knight, so that way I can kill them through that. Be 
careful. We have the door here. I don't want to blow this. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for the help in the sound. Leaves a fire trail. That's not terrible. Find gems and blocks. Plus two. Well, we're definitely taking the HP. Let's take the fire trail too, see what happens. See if this fucks us over. It's gonna definitely fuck me over if I take damage if I step on it. Okay, I don't. Seemingly. So that's good. to see it. Whew. We're getting, slowly getting better. Oh, I don't think we've made it to the Lich Yard yet. So we might be fighting our first boss, proper boss. This is a banger. I don't know, we made it to this level and it fucking destroyed us. For me, the Shrine Master, you've done well to reach one of the four shrines, but it's locked. You need three keys to get through. Who would have that? Too bad you don't have a skeleton key. Yeah, ha, ha. Alright, so I'm assuming I have to just come back in here when I have three keys. So I need that to survive until I have all three keys. And I can't open any of the chests. Oh my goodness. <gasps> I opened a fucking chest. So I probably can't. One key, two key. I don't know if a third key is gonna show up that I can use on that. A third key did show up. Unless that just. Okay, didn't blow it up. So I need to kill you. goodness it's you, but that means, oh no, you're trapped too. Well, perhaps we can solve this together. Take a look. The shrine holds a key fragment. They seem to be important, but I'm not sure how they relate to defeating this pocket dungeon master. Someone is hiding something from us. Some sort of foul play. It's just a suspicion, but keep your eyes peeled. The camp, you say? A wise first step. Very well. I will head there at once. Feet unlocked. Unlock shield knife. Key fragment found. Oh no, I could have chose either one or I chose that. That's alright. Oh, I'm fucked. I shouldn't... Oh, what do I do? Like, do I get risky for this? Alright, I'm here now. I should, be able to, I should be able to do this now. Oh, no, I have no... No, gotta leave. Gotta leave. Let's check this message real quick. I know. I'm, I mean, I had no choice. I I had a... I couldn't attack anyone out there because I'd die if I attacked. You trespass on ground, not meant for the living. Spectre Knight 
from the shadows. Please give me something. Please give me something. Alright. <sighs> if I quick restart, do I start here? I don't think I do. Nope, I don't. We're, we're grooving now, though. We're grooving. We can do this. We can get back there quick. I'm feeling it. Combo these all. Get them out of the way. Give me that. Open this. Give me that. Deal two extra damage. Where can we, where can we group some, some things up? We're just going to fill this board up a little bit. Probably correct, Eric. Hitting Scyther, uh, hitting Spectre Knight when his Scythe is out is probably the, r the right idea. New Knight unlocked bumped him twice to switch characters. Right, we'll get some gems in the bank. Let's see what we can get. Slows gem meter depletion and slain foes grant more gem meter. I mean, that seems like a no brainer. Fewer slain foes require to see exit. Attack poison foes. Mm, let's have this. I guess let's grab that too so we can get to the end quicker. Um, I don't want to use Shield Knight. Alright, feeling it. I hope that after we beat a boss, our caravan moves forward. If we have to, if this mode playing Rope Light means we have to start from the beginning again, you've got to be real fucking good to. I'm gonna kill myself. We did it. We fucking did it. Alright, let's try that again. I don't want to use this bomb, so before we do that, let's just fill this up.
I walked right into it. I don't think I have enough health to clear it fully. I can't kill him. Damn. Hate to see it. Eric, I'm so... <laughs> so good at this game. Um, Alright. We got this. We got this. We're fucking grooving now. store and I didn't open it. Fuck. Alright. Well, we do have a good night chain here, so this is, this is good. This is good news. We can probably go up the board and kill them. I need to get to that potion. Get myself in a tight spot here. See what we got. Okay, diamond dust. Plus item damage and durability. That's not bad. Uh, meal ticket. Lose a fire shot. We're gonna definitely take this. And don't have enough. I'd rather have more health. down again because I'm already dying. I need to get out of this corner though. I'm gonna exit back up in the fuck. This might be the end. It seems like the best thing to do is to avoid being stuck at the bottom. Rope train around the sides and the top is the, the way to not find yourself in those positions. I mean, we're about to have a nice, nice healthy chain out here. Let's fill this up. Let's get this real fucking good. Can I get can I get skeleton in the middle, please? Can I get a skeleton in this slot, please? Come on, just give me a skeleton right in the middle, please. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Put a skeleton in the slot. There it is. That's what I wanted. So close to clearing the whole floor. It is very easy to make a mistake, but it, it it's like it's not the game's fault. 
if I fuck up. It is like solely me making a bad decision. Oh, I didn't realize there was a bomb there. That was close. I don't know if the bomb will damage me. I don't think I've been in a radius yet. Revive after defeat once. This is the thing I should probably buy here. I have just enough gems for it. This is what I should buy. Plus one damage every third hit to the same foe. Resist electric damage, plus one damage every ten steps. This is what makes sense. If I want to beat the first boss, I need to have a revive on deck. But I need to forget that I have it so I don't rely on it. That's what needs to happen. Stash. Oh, okay. Destroy all matching foes. Lots one damage. No, I want to destroy all matching foes. Right, let's fill this up. Let's just get as many knights on here as possible. Shit. Oh my goodness! one damage for 20 turns. Let's, let's make this happen. Let's make this happen. I feel like we got through the Lich Yard. No, actually this is not easy. I don't know why I used that bomb to start. I'm so bad at this game. Okay. Plus one damage, max gem meter, five more bombs and bomb resistance. Freezes time on room enter or freezes time on room enter or when board is nearly full. We'll buy this. <sighs> okay. This is this is the run. This is what I'm feeling here. This is it. We're almost at an hour. I want to play the first hour of this. Can we beat 
the first boss before the hour's up. That's the true test. Fill this up, get a nice healthy chain going. Need one more beetle in the middle. Give me a beetle. Give me a goddamn beetle. Right in the middle. Give me a beetle in the middle. There it is. It's a big boy chain right there. It would have been really funny if I just died. Plus two damage off the bat is making us breeze through this. So much so I, I guess I can open the chest now because I am out of it. Honestly, not worth it. I'm just gonna die if I fuck around there. We're just gonna leave. We're just gonna leave. Okay. That was a really good chain to start. Ticket, uh, which is plus two health, simple single glove, plus one damage to lone foes, find rare items. I definitely want this, and we're gonna move on. that so that way I wouldn't waste it and I also didn't want to lose the extra plus one shield uh, attack buff. Uh, blasting around, did I use that? Oh, it broke the weapon! No! Clear the room. Something gonna attack in here. I'm just using this because I really don't want to fucking die. How much damage are they doing to me? I don't. Use and leave. I don't. I don't trust it. Oh, we're so fucked. If that's the case, it's almost better to leave the camera at the bottom of the board, I think. Because it's not doing anything negative to me, being there. I need something. Oh, um, I'm fucked. Yeah, this is closing fast. I'm just gonna leave. I'm not gonna deal with it. I'm not gonna deal with it. I'm just gonna get out.
All right. We're close. We're close. I'm gonna die right now. Holy moly. I am so screwed right now. Please give me something good. Oh, great. I need the keys. Oh, shit. I am stuck here. Oh, my goodness. damage and that's a huge win. Whew, okay. Potions won't chain. No, I want to keep that on. Plus one damage alone foes. Plus one damage. I guess we'll just buy this because we get the coin. We just go for the boss, right? Take the full health, take the extra couple damage, and just go to the boss. Aha, uh -huh, I knew I recognized the clumsy sound of a commoner's walk. Bow before your king. King, knight, golden glory. Alright, so what's his attack pattern? He has two meters, okay. He's gonna do one damage to me every time. If I'm in his if I attack him. I don't know how much him sliding into me or landing on me does. Fuck. I need more health to come down. So if I attack them, I'm gonna take two damage. Now I'm fucked. I can't believe we just beat a boss on that run. I guess... Thank... Thank... Pray to the shovel that we got King Knight that time and not Spectre Knight, even though I think Eric was right and we figured out how Spectre Knight dies. Uh, so boss defeated. We beat it. Beat a boss. Traveling to Magic Landfill. So we'll keep this run going. We'll go until the run is over. Um, Florbs are here now. All new enemies are here. Rats, bloaters. Oh, I'm blocked. Oh my goodness. I don't know what this, this 
turn into a bomb. This is chaos. Bonus stage. Bonus stash. Um, I want this. Yeah, blast line with electricity. This is a huge power up. Oh my god! There was a bomb in the chest. King Knight, though. New Knight unlocked. Alright, so let's see. We got this guy down here now. Give me a thousand gold. Find your fashion. Okay, I like that. Let's see what's in the store. So I think every run we have gold accumulating here at the, at the camp, which we can then buy all this stuff to unlock in future chests. So we'll do bigger bomb explosions, and poison foes, and damage. Okay. In a hurry to get somewhere, friend, just hop into my cannon. It'll be perfectly covered, I assure you. Planes, probably more keep. Oh, I can pay to start further. Interesting. What's down here? I try to move fast to get my gym meter up, but then I get sloppy and make mistakes. Me too. What was that? I wonder if changing your character gives you different abilities. Press X to bash hits harder based on distance, but you'll take one more damage. Oh, well, I love that. Oh, shield knight. Gain a barrier after chaining. Survive, survive one fatal blow per level. Reduce max HP. Hmm. That's actually not bad if you get some health buffs off the bat. I'm confused about this, though. I have... One, two, three, four... Okay, so four. So every time I do it, is it a new one? One, two, three, four. Oh yeah, okay, there is a new one. Now. Guidebook. Knights, enemies, relics. Okay, it doesn't let you see everything. Only stuff you've unlocked. Stats, I don't even want to know. 13, I mean, we've done 13 runs so far, it's not bad. Um, options, let me look into that, we'll quit. My current progress, what do you mean my current progress? Let's just, I want to see what happens if I venture forth if I start from the planes again. You do. Hmm. Quit. Return to menu. So there's a verse mode, there's a daily, I'm assuming these are like just different daily boards. Daily run. Uh, back to menu. Leaderboard. Hey, I'm number 93. With, with one relic. I mean, the guy in second, the person in second place has no relics, and, and that's impressive, I guess. Hmm. Is 
is obviously the game is not out yet, so it's only a smaller pool of people. So I'm sure my 93 placement will drop significantly uh, starting tomorrow. Uh, I just want to go into... Oh, I clicked on daily and then I backed out. I wonder what you unlock from beating daily. Well, I up. Um, okay, so when I go back in, I still have the stuff I've unlocked. Okay, that's good to know. So that is the first hour of Pocket Dungeon from uh, Yacht Club Games and Vine. Uh, I did want to check one more thing, actually. So you can go into Options for Adventure, and I'm on Stock 1. So I guess you could bump up the stocks, or have infinite stocks, so you can continue to continue to go as you fail a room. Um, levels in order are random. That's interesting. Boss is on. Speed, you can turn it up. HP, you can give yourself a boost there. Attack damage, same thing. Items on, relics on. Interesting. Game. Vibration, damage numbers, speed pop-ups, um, tutorial, okay. So I mean, uh, like I said from the beginning, this is a game I've been looking forward to. Um, I like puzzle games, I love Shovel Knight, so those two things together in a good package are, are really exciting to me. Um, outside of playing it early, it packs the developers. This is the first hour or so of me playing the game. So I've really enjoyed what I've played so far. I'm definitely going to be sinking some more time into this week. I'll probably do some other things, uh, either a proper review or other impressions or something. Uh, we'll definitely talk about it on the next podcast. But look forward to more thoughts for how I feel about Shovel Knight Pocket Dungeon as we get deeper into the game. Um, but this releases tomorrow, December 14th. I'm sorry, December 13th. Um, on Switch, PS4. Let me pull it up because I, I don't want to say incorrect information. But I believe... It is coming to everything. It's releasing tomorrow, December 13th for $19.99. And it will be available on places. Uh, let me pull my email. I apologize. Okay, it doesn't say in my email. Does it say it at the bottom of this? Hmm. I... It must be coming to everything since it's not listed here specifically. Um, either way, the game is very good. I'm very excited to play more of it. Uh, I would actually am debating streaming more of it right now, but it is Sunday night. It is getting a little bit late, and I have some other things I need to get done. But like I said, look for more uh, thoughts on Shovel Knight Pocket Dungeon as I have more time with the game uh, throughout this week. But definitely something to keep your eye on if you like what you watched and you want to see more feel free to follow us at pass controller look for our podcast our weekly podcast at uh anywhere you listen to podcasts and you know thanks for tuning in until next time